Hi friends, it's Christina from Brooklyn Bridge Park Conservancy here to share with you some fun information about the Brooklyn Bridge that we love and cherish so much. The Brooklyn Bridge is a special type of bridge called a suspension bridge. Just like suspenders will hold or pull up your pants, a suspension bridge is held up from above. You may have noticed that there are a lot of bridges around the city that are held up with a lot of wires. We call these the cables. But to build the Brooklyn Bridge, the workers first needed to build a structure for those cables to be hanging off of. Do you ever recall seeing something like this sticking out of the water? This part is called the tower. Go ahead and put your hands up high and say, the tower. Now, it's probably pretty difficult to build something that's coming out of the water. What the engineers needed to do was use a special tool called a caisson, which acted like an air chamber that they could use to go down and dig at the bottom of the riverbed. Their goal was to reach bedrock, which was gonna help provide a sturdy foundation to build up those towers from. Now, everyone make your arms form a box shape. These caissons were kind of big boxy structures. And let's say together, caisson. Okay. I want you to remember these words and motions that I'm giving you because we are going to play a game very shortly. After the towers were built, the engineers started hanging the main cables. They came up across over the tops of the towers, sloped downwards, and came back up again. In total, there are four main cables and they're very, very wide. Everyone, take your hands and make them into a U shape. That's kind of the shape that you see the cables going as they go between one tower and the next. Let's put our arms up and say, main cable. Now, around the same time, there were other workers that were focusing on building the anchorage. I'm sure you all have heard of an anchor before. That thing that you throw over the boat helps keep the boat in place. Well, similarly, the anchorage in the Brooklyn Bridge holds the cables in place. Imagine you're grabbing the ends of those cables and pulling them down, all the way down towards the land. If you can, go all the way down and touch the ground. So those anchors are gonna hold those cables in place so that they're not flapping in the wind. The flat surface of the bridge that people, bikes and cars travel over, you'd probably refer to it as the roadway, but an engineer would call it the deck. Stretch your arms out and say, the deck. Now remember, I said that the Brooklyn Bridge is a suspension bridge. So the deck is largely not attached to the ground like the anchors that are going down into the ground. The main cables are suspending it above, but there are actually hundreds of smaller cables that attach between the main cable and the deck. The cables that are vertically are appropriately called suspenders. Imagine that your forearms are the suspenders. Go ahead and grab onto your imaginary main cable and bring it down so that they attach down and connect to the deck. What are we gonna say this time? Suspenders. Lastly, the Brooklyn Bridge is technically not only a suspension bridge, but also a stay bridge. Stay cables act similarly to the suspenders because they help hold up the deck as well, but they stretch diagonally instead. Stretch those arms out sideways and say, the stay. Some bridges today only use suspender cables and some only use stay cables. With the best of both worlds, the Brooklyn Bridge is very sturdy and truly one of a kind. All right, now that you know all the important parts of a suspension bridge, let's play a little game of Simon Says. But instead of regular Simon Says, we're gonna be playing Emily Says, since Emily Roebling was one of the very important people overseeing the bridge's construction. And instead of touch your head, touch your shoulders, touch your toes, we are gonna use the bridge motions that I had taught you. So let's do a quick review. If I say Emily Says be the towers, you're gonna put your hands up high like the towers, nice and tall. If I say, Emily says, be the caisson. Remember, the caisson was that boxy tool that they used to dig, dig down. All right, if I said, Emily says, be the cables, the main cables. Remember, the big, big ones are the ones that make the U shape down at the middle of the bridge. If I said, Emily says, be the anchorage. Remember, you gotta grab onto those cables and pull them down all the way to the ground. 
If I say Simon says be the stay, you're gonna go diagonal. And if I say Simon says be the suspenders, you're gonna stay vertical. I think there's one more left. Simon says be the deck, yeah. All right, we've covered them all. So I'm gonna start off slow and then I might pick up some speed. Let's see how long you guys can go without me fooling you. Here we go. Emily says, be the tower. Emily says, be the deck. Emily says, be the caisson. Emily says, be the tower. Emily says, be the anchor. Emily says, be the stay. Emily says, be the suspender. Emily says, be the deck. Emily says, be the cable. Emily says, be the tower. Emily says, be the cable, be the tower. Ooh, did I trick you? Emily didn't say, so you shouldn't have done any moves, but let's keep going. Emily says, be the deck. Emily says, be the anchor. Emily says, be the tower. Emily says, be the stay. Emily says, be the anchor. Emily says, be the suspender. Wait a minute, this isn't suspender, this is stay. If you made that mistake, you would be out. I'm gonna go a little faster this time. So if you made a mistake, that's okay. You're getting a redo, but I hope you can keep up with me. Emily says be the tower. Emily says be the stay. Emily says be the tower. Emily says be the anchor. Emily says be the caisson. Emily says be the deck. Emily says be the tower. Emily says be the suspender. Emily says be the stay. Emily says be the cable. Emily says be the tower. Emily says be the anchor. Emily says be the deck. Emily says be the tower. Emily says, good job, everyone. Give yourself a round of applause.